There is nothing here but sand and cracked scorched earth. And yet, Raja Wakar has spent $10 million for a parcel of this barren land. Why? Because before long, this area will be a sea of solar panels, and within two years, he expects to break even. But in our country, we have a lot of sunshine. Here, we have long days of sun. It's cheap, and that's why a lot of people like me believe in it. The government in Pakistan's Punjab province has decided to turn the Cholistan Desert over to solar energy. Panels covering these 4,000 hectares of sand could one day churn out 1,000 megawatts of power, about the equivalent of the average nuclear power station. When you visit here in one year, a year and a half, you'll see a different world. We will bring this desert to life. There will be buildings over here. For supervision, houses will be built. Pakistan is going through one of the worst energy crises of its history, with constant blackouts in the summer. The Cholistan Desert could be the best alternative for power, but it's not that simple. The area isn't completely empty. Nomads have been raising their camels here for generations. We don't know what this work is, whether it's a good or a bad thing. We only know that animals are our only income and that we depend on them. Solar power, what does it mean? We don't know. Either way, the nomads will just have to wait and see how it affects them, as the first phase of the project is due to be completed by the end of this year.